I have with me Adila Akplogan, who is the CEO of AFRINIC, which is the Regional Internet Registry. Adil, describe for those who might not know, what internet, what are internet addresses? Well, internet addresses are identifiers for uh, equipment connected to the internet. Now, every single equipment connected to the internet has a unique identifier, which allows them to be reached uh, uh, from wherever and allow them as well to communicate with other equipment. It, to, to have a very broad analogy, everybody has a phone number that allows him to be contacted uh, using the phone system. For the internet is the same thing, but instead of being individual numbers, they identify equipment connected to the internet. And until very recently, those were IPv4 addresses. How many IPv4 addresses have been allocated across Africa? Well, um, across the region, we have around uh, 35 million of IP addresses allocated in, in Africa. Uh, this number represents uh, the amount of IP address that are used by operators. That doesn't mean there is only 35 million people connected to the internet or, or equipment connected to the internet because there are some mechanisms to hit behind one single IP address, several other equipment using what we call private IP addresses. But the, 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 that is the number that operators are using today, but not, that number is also growing very, very fast because uh, netting, which is the process of hitting uh, uh, a lot of equipment behind a single IP address, is showing its limitation. And we have helped recently very big operators in, in the region to renumber their whole network, and including mobile network to public IP address instead of using NAT because NAT has several limitations not only in terms of application but also in terms of capacity of holding one using uh, the, the multiplexing system to hold one IP address and multiplex them. So uh, it's hard to maintain. People don't really realize that when they, they deploy their network but when they reach certain level it's completely uh, uh, useless. Um, so there are more uh, uh, connected people and we are trying to convince operators to get rid of abusive use of NAT and use real um, and public IP, IP address which, which allow us to increase IP allocation in the region for the past three years for more than 100 percent which is which is very so th three years ago the number was what? The number was uh, around 15 million IP addresses. So it's gone from 15 to 35? Right, yes. and where are you projecting that it will be by the end of, say, by the end of this coming year? Well, we, we, we think that by the end of uh, this year, on, in, in 12 month period of time, mm -hmm. we'll be able to allocate another 16 million of IP address. So it's going up to an incredible rate. Yes, it, it is, it is, and, and, and the reason is one, uh, uh, a renumbering NAT, NAT network, but also the development of broadband. I mean, uh, a lot of operators are, 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 are um, offering broadband now. Uh, the whole East African part uh, is now connected to fiber optics, so more people are getting connected. Um, and the mobile operators, you, more and more mobile operators are providing data service now, so they are connecting more people to do that. So, so, so the, the environment is changing, uh, mm -hmm. in fact, in Africa, and, and um, that, that, that uh, directly implies more, more consumption of IP addresses. And you're running out of IP4, IPv4 addresses and um, now needing to move to IPv6. Explain the transition. Yes, unfortunately uh, uh, or fortunately, I would say uh, we are running out of the, um, the IPv4 addresses. Um, the the runouts at the global level already happened because uh, IANA has, has allocated the last uh, block of IPv4 address to, to all the five RIR. So now the, the, the attention is now turned into which area will run out first and what the other are going to do. So how many addresses are you down to? Oh well, we, we, we are fortunate enough because we have been allocated 
a whole uh, a slash eight block which represents 16 million IP address. Before that, we have uh, another slash eight that we received uh, recently. So uh, we are fortunate in Africa to to say that we will be the last runouts, uh, uh, definitely. And this is because of the rate of consumption, which has nothing to do with other regions where they consume like uh, uh, 16 million address every three months, which mm -hmm. is not the case in, yeah. in Africa. So we are fortunate to still have some IP address. But as I, I, I was saying, uh, we don't know what tomorrow will be. We don't know exactly how long we will keep those address for. So what we are trying to push as message is that even though we still have some IP address in our region, IPv6 is the only viable solution in the long term. Um, if we look at the rate of, of, of growth of the internet in general, if we look at the uh, rate of um, the growth of mobile application, uh, there is no way that IPv4 address can handle that growth. So the only solution is IPv6. So it will be a very um, unfortunate for us in Africa to hold on to IPv4, which is not the future protocol in, in, in all the other regions. They will move to IPv6 anyway. And hold on to IPv4 and say, oh, we still have IPv4, so let's continue to play with IPv4, to provide service with IPv4, to develop application around IPv4. What will simply happen is that uh, newcomers to the internet won't be able to connect to IPv4 only application uh, uh, because IPv4 and IPv6 are not compatible. They don't talk right. to each other directly. So we don't want to put ourselves in, in, in a small island of IPv4, which is compl completely... second class service. Exactly, second yes. class services. So, so our message is that uh, let's use the time that we are buying with IPv4 we have now to properly plan the transition to IPv6. There are several mechanisms which allow operators to run both IPv4 and IPv6 on their network right now, uh, and also allow to uh, gradually move the IPv6 uh, deployment from the core of the network to the edge uh, and making sure that it works well, it doesn't break anything. So we have the ability to plan uh, and to move gradually and, and take our time, yeah. sort of. Uh, how, to, how many to IPv6 work. addresses have thus far been allocated? Oh well, today uh, we have allocated 0.0.00 .00 six percent of IPv6 allocation in the region. If we want to tie that to a number, we have allocated more than 60 million of IPv6 already. More than right. IPv4, in fact. Yes. But that is because of the way IPv4 is structured. Yeah. Uh, um, um, in terms of um, uh, proportion, there is 6.5 percent of IP network in general that are IPv6 ready. So yeah. we have 6.5% IPv6 penetration, if you want to say, yeah. on, on, on the internet network. So the, the big challenge here is to be able to have a smooth transition. Uh, that does cost us a lot, because if you do it in a rush, we'll have to pay experts to come and do it for us very quickly. That will cost us a lot, a lot of money. We will not take time to assess the network uh, very, um, uh, I mean, as it is, just rushing to buy new equipment or, or doing that. So what we, we, we are encouraging the community is to take this time, do it uh, step by step, and uh, save money, and, and at the same time get control on, the, on their network. It took Google 18 months to, to, to say today with confidence that their infrastructure is, is IPv6 ready. So uh, it, it takes time, and that is the cost of, 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 of it. it. It's not equipment, it is not uh, uh, upgrading the equipment. The cost is the time that it takes you to plan and to get um, uh, trained about, about IPv6. Okay. I understand Afrinic itself has gone through a transition because you've gone from being um, seeded by donors to now being financially self-supporting. Talk, talk a little about that. 
Yes, I mean, uh, when we started Afrenic, we have uh, set a two years incubation period um, during which we have uh, requested some donors to support the, the bootstrap process. And I think uh, one of the um, objectives that we have during those two years is to be able to uh, 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 use the funding that we are getting to set up a structure that can uh, be self-sustainable because we believe that you cannot uh, develop uh, an organization like Afrinic if you are always dependent on, on, on donors. Uh, our, our responsibility is very important for the stability of the internet. We have to be independent, we have to be neutral. Um, uh, so those, those, those things are not easy to do when you are, you are depending on someone else's money, especially when it's government money. Uh, so we, we have put a very um, strict objective to, to be able to use those two years to build a company, uh, to put in place the system and the structure that can help us to be, to be more sustainable and, and also to, to um, uh, make some, some uh, fund, fund reserve. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have been able after those two years, in fact, we, we have been able during three years to use the fund that we got. The fund was for two years, but we managed to, to, to squeeze the operation and, and, and the, the way we spend the money to be able to have it for three years. But after three years, we have been able to have a system in place to increase our membership uh, portfolio you as well so that it covers uh, the funding we, we, we were getting and uh, so it, it, it allow, allows to build a strong organization at least financially that, that is stable and that can look at the, the, the growth and the future in a more um, um, confidence, confident way. It is not always easy in our region to, to, to be able to build something like that and be independent as, as we, are, we, are, we are but um, Thank you to, 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 to the board, to, to the staff that were there at that time, ready to do the sacrifice and work hard with limited resources so that to build something that is, that is more sustainable. So, so what's, we, we what's are the here today. financial turnover of the company in uh, dollars? Uh, in, in dollars, um, when we started in 2004, our own turnover was around $100,000, uh, but this year our budget is uh, almost $3 million as, 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 as uh, turnover. I understand too you're providing some support for the African Network Operators Group, AFNOG. We, we, yeah, uh, uh, that is the other side of the, of the middle when you, you start <coughs> having a structured organization in an environment where a lot of initiatives are coming up and where the network is developing. You have to provide support to the organization so that we can create a, a real ecosystem around, around the internet. So yes, we, we provide support to, to AFNOG uh, because AFNOG is our father somehow. We, AFNOG has been built from AFNOG. Uh, uh, so we, in turn, support AFNOG in the in the activity. Not not globally. We we, we don't take all the AFNOG budget, but we contribute to, to, to their budget every every year uh, because what they are doing is helping us as well. Because building uh, people who have the knowledge on, on IP help us to build our community as well. That will be useful for our public policy um, development. So we provide support to AFNOG, but not only AFNOG to FTLD as well. We we hold the secretariat for FTLD. We we manage all their uh, finance. We are helping to set up other organizations like AFCERT, which is the, the, the African uh, uh, CERT Association, helping us to set up um, training for managers and engineers on how to run a CERT. Uh, so we are, we are putting effort on that as well. So we kind of today the, in, a, in a situation where we um, are the kind of mother organization kind of, and supporting other organization to grow. It is in our interest as well because if we have more organization that join the, 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 the uh, the Family. wave, yeah, yeah. The, the company and the wave of, 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 of developing the internet, it's good for all of us and uh, we, for us, it will grow our community because we need the community to build policy that we'll use to manage the address. If we don't have the community, we'll have the address and probably we don't know how to, how to manage them. Adil, good to talk to you today. Thank, Thank you. you.